So if you're a beginner, you may have seen that more advanced setups kind of have like a lot of chords and maybe you're not really sure what to do with them, but have no fear. This video, we're going to explain what all these chords mean and what they do. Okay, so what do we have? We have, uh, let's start with the bottom. So here we have a, a bunch of chords. So one of them goes to the battery actually. So here we have the main power that comes from the battery uh, into the extension cord. And here we have a bunch of other cables coming out of it. So uh, this one actually is missing uh, two of them. It's missing the mount itself and it's missing uh, our computer uh, charger. Right. So those two cables actually go into uh, this one cord here. And um, this one power cord actually connects uh, into the mount itself. So here we only have one cable coming to the ground. Usually we would have one cable here going to the computer, but right now we have no computer on the field. So, uh, But here is the, uh, the main power cord coming from the, the battery uh, into the, the actual mount. Then from here, this power actually goes through the mount and comes out over here. So here we have the same kind of cable that comes out with uh, the power from the battery. And this one connects to several um, pieces here so we have first the camera so here the power cable is attached to the camera here this power cable is actually very important because this this is how you actually cool down the camera so without the power cable you would be able to image but not to cool down the camera and then the second part of the cable here goes to the focuser so here is uh, how you power the focuser which needs power to actually rotate uh, the gears in the, in the focuser here then what do we have? We have a few USB cables. So here we have a USB hub that connects to the mount. And from here, we can connect several different USB cables. So first we have the one for the focuser here. This is how the, uh, the focuser connects to the mount and of course uh, the laptop. Yeah. And then here we have the blue uh, USB cable here that connects all the way to the camera here. So this camera connects to the mount and therefore the laptop by going first to this USB hub here and then the mount and then the laptop. Then here we have a, a filter wheel and this cable here connects to the main uh, imaging camera. And so from the camera, we can connect to the filter wheel and rotate the filters electronically uh, from the computer. And then we have one more cable here, very similar. This one connects from the main camera to the uh, guide camera. And so we can connect from the, the computer to uh, this guide camera. Because both of these are only connected to the main camera, but the main camera is itself connected to the mount. So uh, it connects to the laptop and everything talks to each other like that. It's like it's all connected. Crazy, right? So just to show you guys better, uh, we have two cables here, one power cable and one uh, USB cable. So the power cable um, is useful to uh, power the, the camera and the focuser here. So this one attaches right to the mount and this USB cable um, goes from the USB hub here. And so from there we have the mount itself as well as the camera and the um, focuser. And from the camera we have uh, several USB cables, uh, one going from uh, the EFW to the camera and one going from the guide camera um, to the main camera and so everything goes once again to the mount and it's actually pretty simple i mean we you know this setup is really neat in terms of cables uh, so there is no crazy you know um, cables going everywhere dangling dangling everywhere yes but uh, we have one extra cable here which we actually do not use during imaging this one is only used uh, at the very beginning uh, we connect this uh, usb cable here to the laptop and use this uh, device, which is the Pole Master from QHY, to polar align our mount. And uh, I mean, besides this, there is no more cables. So uh, you may have seen pictures online of insane. Um, it gets really crazy and really complicated. But if you understand how everything connects to each other, it really is like simple and not so frightening, especially when you are a beginner going into more advanced setups. Yeah, and I think, ooh, <laughs> and I think, um, um, you know, when you see a picture online of an advanced setup, you may be, you know, you may be really scared because you see a bunch of cables dangling everywhere. 
and going through each other. But um, with our setup, this is very neat. If we, all the cables are pretty much in one spot, so it's not as frightening. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys. We know that sometimes, you know, looking at this for the first time, it can be kind of scary and we don't want you to be worried because this is, again, the steep learning curve of astrophotography. So thank you for joining us and uh, allowing us to explain what's going on with our setup. Mm -hmm.